another uh, really good friend and longtime friend of Julius Deutsch and woman I'm proud to call sister, Peggy Nash. Mm -hmm. Julius and I became very close friends the night that David Miller was elected mayor. We were all celebrating at the Bamboo Club. And uh, I've been thinking about electoral politics for some time. I kind of sidled up to Julius and I said, Julius, do you think an NDP could win federally in Parkdale High Park? Uh, be awfully difficult. <laughs> <laughs> who, who do you have in mind? <laughs> thinking of running. Oh, he said, well, that would be interesting. If you decide to do it, give me a call. So, three weeks or so went by. I called him up. I said, Julius, I've made my decision. I'm going to run for the nomination. And he said, great. Uh, I'll manage your campaign. Little did I know, he and Bob were on vacation in South Carolina. They turned the car around and drove back to Toronto immediately over the holidays so mm. that he could manage my campaign. And it took us a couple of tries, but we got there. We became very close friends, and I learned that uh, his mother had inspired him greatly in his progressive politics. And I know she would have been very proud of her son, not only for his political activism, but because he helped so many women run and get elected. Um, a lot of people talk the talk, but he really walked the walk. Politics is clearly one of Julius's two great passions. As others have said, he was engaged 24-7. Uh, he'd be managing a major campaign at the same time and have his fingers on the buttons of everything that was happening at different levels of government and then he'd be running a community campaign uh, and then he had his job where his boss signed the check at Labor Council. <laughs> you could see the breadth of his influence at the uh, Good Green Jobs Conference which brought together labor <laughs> activists, environmentalists, community activists, youth from across the city and uh, all of these folks had kind of Julius that the nucleus of their activism and they, they kind of coalesced at this conference and a number of young people that I talked to at the conference came up to me and said that it was Julius that had got them involved in their activism. He was very consciously a mentor uh, to, to both young and not so young. Uh, and it was a silver lining of his time in the hospital that people from all his different networks got to meet each other, some for the first time, in the hospital room. Visiting hours meant nothing. People came and went at all hours of the day and night. Friends and acquaintances came to wish him well, and some came to seek his political advice. So Julius's hospital bed became this nerve center for plotting and scheming around the city council positions, the mayoralty race, the by-election, the upcoming provincial election, when will the federal election be, my nomination campaign, everything is all bubbling in this hospital room and uh, what was clear was the respect and love that so many felt for Julius and I know it buoyed him and made his Hospital stays more bearable, but I did pity the person in the bed lying in the next to him. <laughs> I had to suffer through all of this. Uh, but Julius was lucky to have a lot of love in his life. His sister Grace and her husband Paul were very close to him, and Julius was very proud of his nieces. He spoke of them often, and he liked being Uncle Julius. And of course, the other great passion in Julius's life was Bob Hamley. While not sharing Julius's flavor of politics, Bob definitely <laughs> shared his zest for political debate and campaigns. And I loved that Julius and Bob roamed around together, as Julius called it, in their fine GM product. Uh, they roam around looking for suitable, a suitable NDP campaign office, or they'd be out at midnight roaming the ride and counting NDP signs. <laughs> Throughout this terrible ordeal, Bob was a sea of calm. He was never falsely upbeat. He never oozed emotion. 
all over. Julius hated oozing of emotions, especially in politics. It had to be neat and crisp. Bob was unfailingly attentive, kind, loving. He always ensured Julius was in control of his own care. He helped the rest of us feel calm about the great tragedy of Julius's failing health. Thank you, Bob, for sharing so much of Julius's time with us. Julius was a person who we can say truly made a difference in the world. And our phones have suddenly gone quietly. <laughs> we miss him so much already.